Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But we're still workshopping them. What does workshopping mean, exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. <laughs> okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. Let's go with Steph. Badass DJ? It's a no-brainer. Sorry, Ryan. Fuck yes. In your face. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the... the effort. But we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? All I want is justice for my brother. Please. Help me. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She said, if I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. Oh, such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. That's a nice cross. Oh, thanks. William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. Do you have, um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. A month 
later and I can still feel the void he left behind. Diane seems really put together, but inside, she's just as much a mess as the rest of us. Typhon does a lot of local hiring, huh? We're always growing. Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. He was practically a father to Ethan. And now he's gone. It's just so fucked up. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right, that's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. Time to find out what Diane is really hiding. Hello? Ms. Jacobs? It's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? He came here looking for a better life, just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. Wait, there's something else. I can't undo what Typhon did, or the role I played, but at least I have everything I need to protect myself from them. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Hey, Diane. Oh, hey, Steph. How are you? So, what's your deal? I'm sorry? Are you single, semi-single, taken, but still down to get drunk and make out? Whoa. <laughs> Was not expecting that at all. Um... Am I blushing? I feel like I'm blushing. <laughs> yeah, I could see your cheeks from space. <laughs> Super. Real good luck for me. I'm so flattered. I don't even know what to say. Hey, no, no sweat. Just think about it. 
get back to me. I'm not going anywhere. See ya. very real chance that you awoke something in Diane. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> you guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh my God. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? One question. When the LARP's over, can I keep the hat? I'd say that all depends on how you do. Damn, gauntlet thrown. <laughs> so, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right, I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon explosions. Ducky's gift to me for finding his booze. It's, um, it's a unique expression of gratitude. Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh.
Steph, I will murder you. Wow. Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip. I don't need to memorize this stuff, do I? I still haven't gotten you open yet. Must be a key around here somewhere. I don't need to memorize this stuff, do I? A dire rat joined your party. I'm really glad my advice helped. I didn't even know what to say when Charlotte gave this to me. How do you even respond to such a perfect gift? Okay, let me grab my hat. I found some really cute photos of Gabe and Ethan on this thing. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but... It felt like I had to do something. Life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. Huh. There it is. Oh shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. Never know when you'll need a light. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. A housewarming gift from Eleanor. She said Gabe loved these little dudes. No sunglasses, though. We're one step closer now. This must have been Gabe's. That's a long list. And I bet he would have gotten through it. Wow, Gabe. Still finding ways to break my heart, huh?
Alex the Bard ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs> Hey. I don't need, like, cheering up or whatever. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... Gabe was so excited to LARP with you. I bet he'd really want you to do it. I do want to do this. It's just... <sighs> Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Must be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah, especially my mom. She always looks so... <sighs> sad. Because I'm like bummed out. But I can't just pretend. So, don't pretend. Just be yourself. Or yourself with a foam sword and a funny hat. But what if I'm still, you know, not having fun? Then don't. That's fine too. No one will be disappointed in you for being you. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Thanor, the monster slayer. Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh, sure. A kraken ate a city every year until it died on Thanor's spear. My goodness. So, you must be Thanor's bard, Alwyn, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But this hope, an ancient prophecy, describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. 
Mm, yes. Good. Then you must go. Now. My people are counting on you. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. So, you're seriously Alwyn? Don't you recognize me? Oh, yeah, of course. Um... It's been a long time since Carneris. Exactly. Those were good times, huh? Except for the spiders. Yeah. What is that? It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's a wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. One damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Untuned cord, <clears throat> one damage. Ah! Two damage. Ah, I'm still on fire. <clears throat> Two damage. <clears throat> Loot. Oh, cool. I learned a magic attack. <laughs> One damage to allies. Better be nice to Thanor. Let's keep going. What do you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. This is actually really fun. I know, right? Let's go to the peach. Hmm. It, it's found a scroll? Yeah. Peach ice cream cake? I don't know. Aren't I supposed to be the one teaching you how to throw? Sorry. Hey, kid. You responsible for that massacre in the Black Lantern? Whoa. There was a massacre? Better check it out. Got another scroll. Cool. Could there be something down the alley? This is boring. Shh. They're here. Woe is me. Woe is me. Behold, my love has been slain by yonder river monster. Where? Just down the... yonder... alley. Near the river. Alas, alas. Be 
Beware of River Monster. <laughs> Some kind of snake? I guess. have to fight it. Why wouldn't we? We could save our energy for something scarier. Save our scrolls, too. True. It's gonna attack! What do you want to do? Whatever. Let's just fight it. Bring it on, snake meat! Burning blade! One damage! <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns! Untuned cord, <clears throat> one damage. <sighs> oh. Two damage. Ah, I'm still on fire. Huh. <clears throat> Two damage. <clears throat> Untuned cord, <clears throat> one damage. Spitting venom. <sighs> I'm poisoned. Ah, I'm still on fire. Ow, poison damage. Huh. <clears throat> Two damage. <clears throat> Untuned cord, <clears throat> one damage. Oh. Two damage. Ow, poison damage. Huh. <clears throat> Two damage. <clears throat> Healing serenade. Plus one health to us. Ah! Two damage. Ow! Poison damage. Scroll of healing. Thanor and I are restored to full health. All negative status effects removed. One damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Untuned cord, <clears throat> one damage. <clears throat> ah! Two damage. Ah! I'm still on fire. Let's make some ears bleed. Wait, what's that? It's like a dragon scale or something. Maybe it's got magical powers. Let's hang on to it. Yeah. Are 
Are you bummed that we had to kill the snake? Nah, it's fine. Okay, we handled the river serpent. Thank you, adventurers. But you should probably clean up that body. Master scroll seekers. Yup, I bet there's something fun in the record store. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. That run felt amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Wow, good for her. Mind if I duck in here a second? I have to... Um, renew my bar guild membership. Yeah. Okay. Hey there. <laughs> I could ask Riley how progress is going with the USB. So Eleanor's donating all those decorations? Any luck with the USB? No, not yet. It's gonna take hours, if we're lucky. Oh. If you want to check it out, it's running on the office computer. But don't touch anything. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to thank me. It's the least I could do for Gabe. And actually, it's kind of fun. I didn't realize you were so good with computers. Is that what you're going to school for? Civil engineering. Or maybe robotics? It's a lot to figure out. Kind of crazy. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about something else. How's Mac doing? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's around. Probably too embarrassed to show his face. <laughs> He gives me shit every time I see him. I can't get out of this town fast enough. Stay strong. Let's talk later. I'll let you know if I make any progress. Thanks again. God, I took that bus here barely a month ago. Feels like it's been years. I will definitely not touch this. Riley's like 300 pages in. Must be a good book. This is just so nice.
for spring festival. These are freaking gorgeous. Sooner or later, Riley's gonna figure out Eleanor's secret. Man, small towns. Everyone's been going out of their way to congratulate Riley these past couple of weeks. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Troll. Incoming. He's got a soul jewel right there. You like my belt? <laughs> it's made of human skin. <laughs> what do you think we should do? Let's take him. I'll smash you to bits. Stirring him! Double Feynor's next attack! Burning Blade! Two damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Throwing rock. Oh. Two damage. Ah! I'm still on fire! Untuned cord, <clears throat> one damage. <clears throat> Two damage. <clears throat> Throwing rock. Ah. Two damage. Ah, I'm still on fire. Healing Serenade, plus one health to us. Burning Blade! One damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Stunning Punch! Oh, stun! Ah, I'm still on fire! Horrid Disharmony, three damage. <clears throat> Double slam! Oh, ah. ah! I'm still on fire! Stirring him! Double Feynor's next attack! <clears throat> Four damage. <sighs> Here, look what else I got. One down, two to go. Yup. 
Okay. That's definitely Ryan under there, right? Shit. That didn't take long. I bet there's something fun in the record store. One, two, three. I control me. One, two, three. I control me. This book is written for fucking toddlers. Ooh, nothing like getting pissed off at your anger management book. Wouldn't even notice if I... Oh, there. I hear you've dealt with the serpent and- Bah! What a thankless life. Being a smith in the age of monsters. Whoa. He's really into this. Everything okay? You seem pretty, um, grumpy. I've forgotten the damn components of sun silver. Don't suppose you know the composition. Um, if we find out, we'll tell you. I won't hold my breath. Please knock twice. Go for it. Monster or mortal? Mortal! Come in. Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. Oh, so this is like a magic shop. I'm gonna take a look around a bit, okay? Okay. Let's see what Steph's done to the place. When Alex said I'm hot, did she mean it? Or was she just messing around? Never seen Steph feel this way before. Maybe I could reassure her she's always so confident the streets used to be full of people the soul sapphires right there for sale Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but... No, I meant... Never mind. Maybe we can make some kind of deal with her. Would you consider giving us that sapphire? In exchange for something far more valuable. My hand. In marriage. And all of its associated benefits. And you should know, I wouldn't offer if I didn't mean it. Uh... I mean, oh man, this just got real. 
I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued. But I'm afraid I can't accept. For now. We need the Sapphire right away. It's for a quest to end the Age of Monsters. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the River of Sorrows. Bring me back one of its scales, and I'll give you the Sapphire in return. One magic fish scale. Impressive. Well, then here's my end of the bargain. Only one more jewel left. Getting there. Golems. Animation fee not included. Oh, Steph. That actually looks legit. He's forging the Sky Sword of Power. Oh, yeah? One day, Thanor's gonna find it. Warning. Cat is cursed. Do not pet. Yeah, no need to warn me. It's a wonder Valkyrie's ever hungry. What, with all the human flesh I assume she consumes? Dude, I hear you, but a combat-based system with no social mechanics is like my fucking nightmare. Are you- Hey, precious. Where did you come from? Are you the one I've been hearing in the walls? Smartass, there's a cat outside the shop. Dude, I don't know. She doesn't have a collar. Yeah? I'll call Pike, see if anybody's reported their cat missing. Meantime, guess she's coming to work with me, isn't she? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. I guess some heroes are into bards with flashy guitars, but I'm glad Thanor has better taste. I do, I do, I do, I do. Maybe when Ethan's not around. Oh, hey, Sunsilver. We should tell that blacksmith. I'd like to try one of those bard instruments, please. You'll need to schedule a private appointment. I'll do that. I'm still thinking about that tap. Hey, we found the components of Sun Silver. It's iron, goblin ore, and fire powder. Praise the gods. Of course. How could I forget? Why don't you take that scroll for your kindness? I've no need of it. I saw that. Like, right before you picked it up. 
Okay, you can have the credit. No, I don't care. I'm just saying. Too late. Credit's yours. <laughs>